A gothic tale of the world's most famous vampire, Ira David Wood III, adopts Bram Stoker's unforgettable story of Count Dracula in a presentation at Raleigh's Theater in the Park. The brilliant father-son director and lead actor team join us now with promises to keep their teeth to themselves. <laughs> oh, don't bet on it, Bill. <laughs> How you doing? I'm great. Look, I went to a drugstore today. Yeah. These are already on sale. Oh, really? <laughs> you know what that means? That means... It means David Crabtree's in his office with the hot apple cider going... Whoa. I saw it on the way in. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, and, and Greg Fischel's in his office burning chicken bones in the ashtray, oh. chanting softly in Gaelic. <laughs> It's fall of the year. Yes, it's yes. a good time. Halloween is on its way. Well, how are things in Transylvania? Tell us about your, <laughs> your They work. don't suck. It's great. So you're going to play Dracula, and you're going to direct Dracula. Correct. And uh, what will we see? Don't tell me there's going to be a little humor infused in this No, we're very, we're very serious about this. Yes, we are. <laughs> um, we wanted to do something really scary as we get into the season. Yeah. And... Uh, of course, the scariest thing we could think of was you in your Scottish kilt. <laughs> but there's not enough Avion water or green M&Ms to meet your contract, Bill. So we went to the next scariest thing, which was Count Dracula. Count Dracula. Yes. <laughs> well, Ira, what's it like to play Count Dracula? Oh, it's, it's fantastic. It's a, it's a great role because it's lasted so long. Um, and uh, Bram Stoker wrote such a wonderful character. And... It's great to play a boogeyman, the quintessential boogeyman. He really is, isn't he? And you get to sit 20 feet away from this boogeyman. So seeing a play like this in theater is, you, you, you can't go to a movie theater and see the same thing. I understand some great special effects. You're going to disappear? Yes, yes. In midair. In midair. In midair. And it's very easy to do that. I just have to say, son, will you help me with this little job? And he, <laughs> he's disappeared. <laughs> My son was the same way. Yes, yes, you see? <laughs> I think all sons are like yes, that. Yes, they are. <laughs> uh, so what are the biggest challenges? I mean, do you have the full characters that we've uh, known over the years in this story? Or? Well, yeah, I, I think you can do it one or two ways. I mean, you can do it with a wink to the audience, like, don't take us seriously. But we really want to scare people with this. We really want them to jump, and we think they're going to do it a lot in the show. we got a lot of boo moments. So it's just going to be a fun show to start the fall season out with, we think. And then right around the corner, it'll be time for Scrooge, right? That's right. That's right. Well, of course, Scrooge's favorite holiday is Halloween. So okay. we're, we're very happy with this holiday. It's a nice segue. All yes. right. Again, that is uh, Count Dracula at uh, Raleigh's... Uh, Theater, Theater in, in the, the park. park. Thank Theater you, Bill. Park, September 11th through the 27th. <laughs> I remember one time I said, Raleigh Little Theater, and you not clubbed me. <laughs> and what are you going to be for Halloween, Bill? Uh, How do you say Catwoman? <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? Uh, Michelle, please take it away. <laughs> <laughs> meow, meow. <laughs> All right, I, I want to see pictures, Bill.